What's up ADL fans, Daniel Cohen here with another Tiger Bomb Film Room. Today we're going to be looking at a Seattle Cascades horizontal stack pull play from the 2016 semifinal game against the Madison Radicals. The horizontal stack is an offensive concept used to divide the field horizontally with four downfield cutters. While the vertical stack creates maximum space for individual cuts, the horizontal stack spreads out the field, which makes it more difficult for defenders to anticipate the next cut. It's also more difficult for defenders to provide help defense when needed because the spacing forces them to cover more ground in order to help out on the cutting threat. In this clip, the Cascades receive the pull and you'll see the offense immediately set up in a horizontal stack. As the disc gets centered to Danny Karlinski, the two middle cutters are going to clear out of the middle of the field to their respective sides. As they clear out, Matt Rader, who begins on the far left side of the stack, is going to angle in towards the middle of the field. By clearing out initially, the two middle cutters draw their defenders to the outside, which opens up a nice throwing lane in the middle third. This movement also creates an isolation cut for Raider, who is now in the middle of the field with plenty of space to cut in a one-on-one -on -one matchup. After a hard jab step in, Raider takes off deep with multiple steps on his defender. Now, because of the initial clear out by the middle cutters, Karlinski has his choice of throws here. Seeing Kevin Pettit-Scantling positioned on Raider's inside shoulder, as well as Peter Graffy sagging off the wing cutter on the right side of the field, Karlinski makes the decision to throw back shoulder to Raider, and he floats out a backhand to the left side of the end zone. Raider easily runs onto it, and it's a two-throw score for the Cascades. Thanks for watching everyone, and be sure to join us next time in the Tiger Ball and Film Room.